Good afternoon, food lovers. Welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, we are assembling breakfast boards. The trend of putting food items on boards was a way to please a crowd with snacks. While not feeling too full and enjoying beverages, I wanted to focus on a protein-rich board which can be enjoyed in a fun, healthy way. This type of breakfast will get anyone out of bed and feeling energized for the day. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, for this breakfast board, you always want to have the main staple, right? So my main dish will be the eggs. Um, so I have my plate. Well, I'm just using a regular cutting board, but of course you can use any board or any platter. Um, you can use a cookie tray, whatever you have. It doesn't have to be fancy, but I'm just going to use a simple wooden cutting board. Um, I have my plate here. Um, which will I will put my eggs on so let's get our eggs started so I'm just gonna come over here get our eggs now the tip is you always want to prep your hot foods last I've already prepped everything in advance so um, while I was waiting for Jerome I did everything <laughs> so the last thing you want to do is prep the hot stuff which will be the eggs so I'm just going to spray my pan here. And then when it comes to eggs, everyone likes their eggs differently, right? People like it sunny side. People like it over easy, hard boiled eggs, poach. There's so many different ways. I think the safest way to prepare eggs is just make it scrambled, right? Okay. So let's start. I like start. scrambled, but you know? I like poach too. But poach you... Okay, that's too fancy though. Yeah, like... I like too fancy. I have to put vinegar, some salt yeah. in the water, wait for vinegar, it. Vinegar, salt. Ball. I've actually never tried poached eggs, but it is a process for sure. But uh, I mean, if you have time to make eggs different ways for your guests, why not? But uh, you know, it's just me, Jerome, and RJ. Yeah, that's right. I don't really care what they like. <laughs> or eat. It's all about how, or eat. Yeah, they eat anything. Yeah. So um, there, are, there are men who cares, right? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um, so I'm just. Uh, cracking six extra large eggs you know I'm actually gonna add a little bit of egg whites let's see where's my egg whites um, oh here it is okay. just to make it more protein rich right I like whole eggs but I always need to have a little bit more okay and then you know I'm gonna add some cream just to make it a little bit more rich I really like cream. Do you add cream in your eggs, John? Uh, no, actually. You don't? No, I don't add cream or egg whites. I just put more eggs. Oh, you just want more eggs? Okay, so you want to whisk, 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 whisk. And you want to make sure you whisk it really well to break up the membrane of your egg. So you don't see, like, um, you don't see the egg whites when you cook it, right? So you want to whisk it very well. going to add some salt here just a pinch Jerome says I add too much salt in everything which I disagree <laughs> I disagree but he still eats my food yeah. <laughs> okay I think this is good so then we'll put it in our, our pan here Excuse me, Daryl. Here we go. So when it comes to scrambled eggs, you don't actually want your temperature very high, is what I'm told. And uh, I'm told you want to keep stirring it, right? Just so it doesn't get all, because you're not looking for pan fried eggs. You want that nice scramble egg, where it's nice and soft and fluffy. They actually, um, I think when you're in culinary school, they make you make eggs. That's one of the first things. And it's hard to make eggs. So if you guys have a, a tip on how to make eggs, let me know. Or a tip of how to scramble eggs, let me know. I honestly have no idea. I just do what I think is right. <laughs> right? And that's the fun thing about cooking. Just do what you think is right. But I know you don't want it to cook for too long. How do you make your eggs, Jerome? How do you like it other than poached? 
Uh, I like it scrambled. Oh, you well. like it scrambled too? Over easy sometimes. Over and easy. I have some bread that I like to eat with bread, so, so I can just you know dip the bread on that. Oh on yeah. That, on that yolk. Oh yeah, the yolk's the best part. I was. Uh, it's funny when I did a challenge. Um, mm -hmm. Two or three months ago, we had one of our members, Umish, right? He's yeah. like, egg whites taste like shh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's funny. It, actually, the most important part of the egg is the yolk, right? But uh, I do enjoy egg whites, and I do enjoy the yolk as well. Mm -hmm. We want to invite them on our YouTube channel, which is uh, Winnipeg for previous Snares Kitchen videos. You want me to say that? Yeah, absolutely. All right, say hello. Okay, hey guys, if you, uh, okay, do you want to say it again? Just, uh, invite them to our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel, so. Um, Big Club Winnipeg. Big Club Winnipeg. And for our preview of uh, Nary's Kitchen for videos. For our preview of Nary's Kitchen videos. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Thanks, Jerome, for You're reminding welcome. me. It's been there for many years. Oh, it has been there for many years. <laughs> there you go. Okay, maybe I should put this a little bit higher. Yes. It's taking forever. <laughs> Just the eggs. But you know what? I love breakfast. Breakfast is like when I wake up in the morning, I look forward to breakfast. I really do. It's, it's my favorite meal of the day. So I don't care about lunch. I don't care about dinner. I just love breakfast. Okay, so so who viewers. do we have online here? Oh, we have Vivica. Hi, Vivica. Hope you're doing well. I know you said that you're off the gym for a while. So wishing you a speedy recovery, Vivica. Um, oh, we have Maria. Oh, Maria's online. Maria, I have some bars for you. So uh, make sure you wait for me at the gym. Oh, Avital's online. Jillian Melanick. Hey, guys. Oh, Vivica says using a cast iron pan. I actually do have a cast iron pan. I've just never used it yet. So that's actually a great tip. Okay, so I think my eggs are almost done. This is six extra large eggs with some egg whites. Just add a little bit more protein because egg whites alone don't taste very well, according to Umish. <laughs> okay. So these are still a little bit runny, but they're going to continue cooking. So that's good, right? Okay, I'll place my cooked eggs onto this plate here, which I've already assembled in my other stuff. Okay, and this is only enough food for three people, like I said, myself, RJ, and Jerome. The good thing about this board is that you can build it as big as you want or as small as you want. So I have my eggs, which is the star. I also put some sides, some toppings, which is salsa. People like salsa on their eggs. Some cheese and some green onions. And then I've already pre-cooked some bacon, right? So the good thing about these boards is that you just put stuff onto a board. That's it. There's no rule, just any sort of stuff. I'll put it over here. And I'm just using some regular thick cut bacon just because I like the thick cut look. There we go. And then I also pre-cooked some hash browns, right? Because you need to have hash browns. Um, let's go put it like this. Cooked a little bit too much hash browns. But who doesn't like hash browns? Oh, I love hash browns. Okay. And then for breakfast, you also need to have bread, right? So I bought this bread yesterday. And I'm not going to toast this because some people like their bread toasted, some don't. So um, you can just leave it as is. And if your your family members or guests want to toast it, they can. So let's just assemble it like this. I think that looks good already. And there's no right or wrong way. Just make it how, how you want to or buy as much room as you have on the board. And then... What, when you have some empty space, you want to fill it up. So I have some fruit, actually. So I'm just going to grab it here. And these are things that you can do beforehand. Um, just going to, there's no correct way. I left the green on the strawberries because I think it looks pretty. So let's assemble it like that. Okay, what else here? Oh, let's put all 
of it here. I already cut all of this, prepared all of this fruit. And that looks, how good does that look? Yes, it looks good. It does look good. Yes, look at that. Okay. And there we go. I just made a breakfast for three people, but it looks a lot, like a lot of food. Yes. Right? Yes. So, uh, yeah, it's, this is really good for entertaining, good for family, good for Sunday brunch. We haven't had breakfast yet, so this is, I guess, our brunch. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.